Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advice on YouTube, where the watches are the stars. But today, the star of our little video is Niels Egeding, who is the group CEO of uh, Frederic Constant Alpina. Welcome, Niels. Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Um, I'm happy that you are here. Because in the beginning it was not clear if you would make it to Watches and Wonders. It was a good decision to come and that they enabled you to be here. Yeah. What do you say? It's worth being on Watches and Wonders? It's, yeah, we are very excited and we are very happy that we joined. I mean, if you look at 22, 22 has been a very excited year for us, especially in products, more in the premium segment. And that even confirms me that it's important to be here. So yeah, we are happy. Uh, when you walk around and when you talk to retailers, when you talk to the brands, there's a tendency that lots of brands get out of retailers and they go uh, they, to establish their own boutique network. This, of course, leaves a kind of a vacuum behind. Do you feel that there is more momentum now at retailers, maybe reorienting uh, orienting themselves towards also brands like Frédéric Constant Alpina? Is this also a little bit of an advantage for you? Or would you say that your network is already very well established and you, you couldn't care less about such developments? No, we are definitely, we have always been close with retail and we have two and a half thousand retail with, uh, with Frédéric Constant, for instance. But you always look to improve your network. Uh, and I, I agree, the big groups today, they're really setting up their own brand boutique, multiple brand boutiques. And that creates an issue towards the independent retail. Uh, they're losing brands. Uh, and therefore, we, we see definitely attraction happening for both brands. So Alpina, we have been much more focused now on more logical between 1,000 and 3,000 euro, more premium. FC, we stay between 1,000 and 3,000, but we are going to have more money for two calibers that are going to be in higher price position, but justified by the calibers. And that will be a great answer for a retailer to have two strong brands in the premium segment. I can definitely see that. When we talk about Frédéric Constant versus Alpina, the direction is clear. You have Frédéric Constant who is more the, the classical brand and Alpina is more the sporty brand. Will this be more intensified, this kind of gap of these two brands? Are you going to be more extreme, sporty with Alpina and maybe more classic, more classic look with Frédéric Constant to you try to push a little bit? No, we definitely, it's very complementary. Okay. But with Alpina, we are going, let's say it, we, we really clearly focus on a hero product with the brand. The brand has a legacy of smartwatches, we moved now a bit more to horological. And since last year, we have created a new case, that's the extreme, mm -hmm. that really create a very strong traction for the brand. We didn't see it for a long time. And uh, based on that success, we have been made a roadmap with products for the coming three years, strongly focused on this design. So on the extreme, and this is called Alpina Extreme. This is the Alpiner Extreme. Alpiner, Al yeah. Al so we have three universes. Yeah. The let's say the air, the land, and the sea. And this is within the land, the Alpiner segment. And this is a 41 millimeter case with bracelet here, and it's automatic movement. It's four layers case. All parts are different finished, but creates really a high end look. The bracelet is very beautiful, as you can see but it's very sporty. And that's the differentiation with Trede Constant. Is it interchangeable? Can you? No, this one is not interchangeable. It's so tight. It's such a industrial yeah. uh, uh, bracelet that we prefer to not do it interchangeable. FC is a different construction. There we could do interchangeable. This is a collection where you're going to do, where you're going to see more declinations of the basic model. We can see a chronograph. We could see a diver. We could see GMT. Well, you could read my mind. That's what you all will, without telling too much, that's what is planned for uh, for the coming years. And are we going to have in-house movements here? Or is it for now it's focused really between 1000 and 3000 mark with Salita movement where you have, of course, also the Gilbert movement coming in, but not yet manufacture in specific. Okay.
Tweede Kossa, we clearly see now uh, the best seller for last year has been the World Timer. And here we have two editions of the most iconic movement we have. And we sold 4,000 World Timers last year. So you could clearly see the traction of the money for two calibers for us. It's incredible. We have, by the way, a video of a World Timer on our channel. So if you want to discover more details, these are new versions of it, but basically it stays the same watch. So if you're looking for a video, check it out on our channel on Watch Advice, you will find one. So the World Timer is, is the iconic product. Yeah, if you think for me, we, we sell perpetual calendars, for instance, we do like 500, 600. If we really do a strong introduction, we do even 1,000 perpetual calendars per year. Yeah. It's also already a lot also, but the world, world timer is constantly steady in sales. Around three and a half, four thousand pieces per year. The past, let's say, four years now. But yeah, the, the I, I have to say the, the the COVID years was more down. Yeah, well, okay. The 2019 was already very successful. Are you still allowed to give any figures? You're now a public, uh, public company. I think it gets a little bit more tricky. Yeah, yeah, we are not talking about production numbers anymore, uh, but what we do, uh, and that I can confirm, at 22, the industry confirmed a minus 25% in our price segment. So if you look at the export numbers. Yes, I know that. Our price segment, minus 25. Yeah. We grew 26%. And it's mainly done because of the money for two calories. That's great. So you're really fitting into that hole that is there and that segment, and you offer value for money and even against the general trend, you grow. That means you have ideas, you bring the product, you even integrate a, in a, a in-house movement, and all of a sudden, some people like to buy it because you have a USP, you offer something. My words, I was just giving an interview uh, to, to a couple of magazines, uh, Forbes, and I told them, the problem in the industry is no more ideas. So what is the, the competitor number one today, of course, is the smartwatch. You do have your own smartwatch, but for others, it gets more and more difficult. And Niels, he is the proof that it works. If you have ideas, if you do something, you can perfectly live in that segment. Uh, sure. We have a unique proposition. I mean, we, we are offering, an, uh, if you look at this, the world timer, this is a new color, brown, beautiful uh, strap, alligator strap. It comes with a rubber strap and a bracelet. It's a world timer in-house movement. 100 meters water resistant, anti-reflecting both sides from the sapphire crystal, 4,295 euro. Unbeatable. Just, uh, that's, I think, today... A, a top one, yeah. So top, everybody goes up in price. Everybody is going up, up, up. Yeah, so the consumer is now really enjoying a beautiful watch with a beautiful caliber for a very sweet spot priced product. 4,295. I think, uh, I think everybody w goes up in the price range Bigger than 3,000 export price, this means 6,000 resale, more or less. Everybody tries to get in that segment because it is the segment that grows. So, but I don't think you, you're solving anything if you're getting in that segment, if you don't have an offer. No, you need to differentiate and you need to do something more valuable than just a price increase. And the money factor for us, it's, it's explainable. So that's, and that's just the next one also. Yeah, this, can, is, uh, this is the about. highlight for this year. Yeah, so the show, we celebrate 35 years anniversary. So this one is also a limited edition, yeah. solid gold, 35 pieces limited edition. It's solid gold, it's not the uh, solid gold. Not yeah. yeah, this is really to emphasize 35 years anniversary. Solid gold high lies, comes with a rubber strap. This one is around 22,000 euro. Yeah, it's a very heavy case. Yeah. So, so, the, the, yeah, it's, so the, yeah, the case construction is for instance different than we do with the uh, tourbillon. It's 41 millimeters integrated. The links are gold. The glass is gold. Wow. And the, it's, it's a heavy watch, but the caliber and 35 pieces uh, limited edition. So it's, it's still a very attractive watch. Let's talk about the Autobio. Yeah, so then this, this year, uh, we celebrate 35 years anniversary of the brand. Uh, 30 in-house calibers in 35 years, because many brands will tell me, why are you celebrating 35 years? Because we're proud, because we have been accomplished a lot. We have been doing 30 in-house motions in 35 years. So this, that's what we celebrated. This is pretty something, wow. I wasn't aware of the fact 30, 30 in-house movements so far. Yeah. After, after Peter and Aleta started the business, it's, it's crazy. And, P and Peter always communicated on the number of calibers. Uh, we all, and I'm trying to be transparent, the number of calibers, we have 
three main conceptions. The 700 base, the 800, the monolithic, and the 900 tourmillo. And based on this, we have 30 in-house movements. And the last edition uh, that we introduce today at the show is a full gold, 18 karat gold redesigned case, 39 millimeter tourbillon. New direction of the classical manufacturer direction. The dial is much more cleaner in design. And the tourbillon hosting a silicium escapement and anchor. And the watch costs 26,000 euro. Wow. <laughs> yep. So there is offer and there is something and you always find a solution if you're looking for a tourbillon, tourbillon chronograph, whatever it is. There are always brands offering it for less if someone is looking for it and uh, have a close look on what they are doing because um, I'm really impressed now, I have to say. That's uh, something. Gold case, nicely made, nice indexes, looking good. Yeah. Could be a watch. If there would be another name on that would be sold for at least a double or three times the price. Ah, the, comp the competition here with gold. Uh, and what you see in the competition is that most tourbillons are 40 plus diameter case. 41, 42, it's yeah. a nice common size. <clears throat> so 39 is now really the, the size that you can see that people want. So that's also a unique proposition that we have. So, but competition is easily 60, 70,000 euro or above. Yeah, 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 yeah at least. Um, Last question is, where's the where is the direction you are going? Are you having ideas also like others do to get out a little bit of retail, having your own boutiques? Is this something you're not planning that? No, you're no. staying. Okay, you trust the re you trust the offer as dealer. Not sure. No, actually, we have been. Uh, we used to in in Colfried, We even activated much more online sales, and also that we have been uh, tweaking down, because the online sales for me we still do, but it's much more an educational tool, and we need to drive traffic to stores. The stores is the biggest asset we have as a brand. So we need to collaborate, we need to be together, we need to be a partner. We have always been that. So now it even differentiates us more with all the big groups what they are doing. So, and that's what you see also. We have 900 appointments during the show. This is crazy. It's amazing. Crazy. And we have to say, and this is a story, an inside story I will share with you. Um, in the beginning, they weren't welcome. So <laughs> there was someone trying, um, a Frederic Constant and Alpina um, to prevent them to come and yeah you had the right you had the right contacts and you and I, I, it's good because I want to see brands here that also fill up that segment because it's not everybody is, is, is able to buy a watch for 10, 15, 20,000 euros because it's quite a lot of money. In, in Europe you have to gain, at least earn the double then pay your taxes then discuss the whole thing with your family and if the money is still there you can probably buy the watch. And then sometimes you don't even get it because they tell you, okay, you want to watch, you go in <laughs> yourself because we don't have the watch. And then you come and say, okay, that's fine. We have the watch, we're enough calibers, we have good quality. We do the job, we fill up, we have a USB and you're there. So check out Frederic Costa Ibina for maybe your interest. And yeah, you're looking, you're looking for a nice steel sport watch. Ibina, not bad at all, huh? <laughs> True. I can sell it today if you want. <laughs> is there one market worldwide that is you would consider is your strongest market, or are they balanced? Well, we we have uh, USA is really strongly back. I have to say France, South Korea, Japan, but also India, for instance, UK and Italy. Then you really have like uh, the biggest growing market that we can see. India, India is unbelievable. For us. We have been investing a lot the past 20 years, so you see now a little bit of food coming out of that. Uh, but they tripled in the past three years. Starting at lower level, but you triple, of course. But they yeah, tripled. Yeah. But we are, and we have strong collaborations, Egos, Elios, strong network there, good collaboration with retail, and they expanding the business too. So yeah, we really benefit from the collaboration, but especially also a growing market. Congratulations. Thank you. It always pays off. And I remember Peter Stas in the early days, he had plenty of ideas. He was always focused on doing things and uh, pays off. And Peter, we continue. On, and Peter, I heard this on a sailing boat. Enjoy yeah. life. Uh, <laughs> as deserved. deserved. It just in case, Peter, you're seeing us here. We are saying hello to you from Geneva and enjoy your days on your, on your sailing boat. You deserve it. Niels, thank you very much. Thank you.
Um, and you guys, um, Watch Advisor is different. Watch Advisor is the channel where the watches are the stars and we are the channel to also open up your mind, let you think out of the box. If you need some alternatives to brands, here is one, even two. Thanks for watching and don't forget to recommend our channel and to be back very soon on Watch Advisor. Bye-bye. <laughs>